One of the big changes that you'll see here at Lake Charles Memorial Hospital is on the inside, and it's for critical care patients in the ICU. Dr. Thompson, you actually had a hand in creating this new space. That's got to be very exciting. It is very exciting. Um, and I've been in Lake Charles for 34 years, and had the opportunity to build a brand spanking new ICU just doesn't come along very often. Uh, so I'm extremely excited about this. And this is something you've been doing for a long time, so you knew, I guess, exactly what types of things you wanted to have for the patients that you would be seeing here. Yes, uh, we certainly had an opportunity to just create this from nothing, although we were a little constrained by the triangular shape of the building. Um, I think all of the things that we have here should make the patient experience, the family experience, and uh, certainly our support staff, the nurses, the physical therapists, the respiratory therapists, all working in a much more favorable environment than what we had before. This is considerably bigger than the space that you're working in currently. Um, how big is the new ICU? And truthfully, I don't know the square footage of it. Our, our individual rooms are twice the size of the rooms that the patients are in now, so that's going to be very nice. Mm -hmm. The whole unit is bigger than our unit downstairs, and we are adding to that unit, so instead of 17 beds, we'll now have 32 critical care beds. Okay. So. And you actually have four physicians here that work with critical care patients, which is different from, from some of the other places in the area. We have four pulmonary and critical care trained physicians here. We're all partners, um, and uh, I think we see the vast majority of patients that are admitted to the intensive care unit. So. All right. Well, let's talk about the rooms a little bit. They are a lot bigger than the current rooms, and that's going to make a big difference for the patients. And how is that? Well, I think it's going to be, uh, as much as anything, more comfortable maybe for our, our staff, for their family members. The patient's still going to be in a bed for the most part, but we have a dedicated physical therapist that sees all our patients in the intensive care unit. We get people up every day, even those people that are on respirators, even walk most of those people in the hall just so that they don't lose mobility, lose uh, strength. Uh, so our physical therapists are very active in our intensive care unit, and uh, now we'll have a little bit more room for family members to stay, and we have some amenities that when the original unit was not built just weren't available. Plug in your cell phone with a USB charger in the, in the rooms, just simple things like that. Of course, the technology that has evolved over time. We've updated things in our old unit, but everything up here will be new. And, Brand new. Uh, so new ventilators, new monitors, uh, new beds. Uh, so uh, I think it's going to it's it's very exciting for us. One thing that we've noticed up here is there's a lot of glass, and that allows your nurses to keep even a closer eye on the patients. Absolutely. I, I think uh, the size of this unit is a little bit daunting in that uh, if something were to happen down at this end of the unit, it's a ways away from there. But the individual rooms are designed so that there's a, the nurse that's actually taking care of that patient will be outside of the room. With a window looking in. Yes. And, uh, so we'll have, we'll, we will have monitors situated at both ends of the unit that, uh, that a nurse can look up and see any patient's rhythm uh, from where she is so that's that perfect. we have a lot of, we also have, uh, all of these patients are centrally monitored, so uh, um, there's always that backup. Okay. But, uh, a great uh, space and great care offered to our critical care patients in the area. Thanks for talking to us, Dr. Thompson. You're quite welcome. Well, stay with us. We're going to be back with more midday after the break.